I just want to apologize in, in advance for the fact that the beginning of this video is not in focus. I don't have a camera where I can see myself, so I basically had to use a mirror. Um, so anyways, the beginning of the video, I also lost the very first footage of me putting on the very first shade. But I'm so, I'm so sorry about that. But um, I'm basically going into my Carly Bible palette by BH Cosmetics. And I use the top middle shade as my first shade. And I am, you also see me going into the bottom middle shade. And I'm basically putting these in like basically the same place. Um, the bottom one more in a smaller radius than the first one. Next, I'm going into the very middle shade, which is kind of a purple mauvey tone. And this is going into my outer crease. Here I'm just going into the outer middle shade. It has more deeper tones than the previous shade we just used. And I'm just using the same brush in my outer crease in a smaller radius than the previous color. And this is just going in there for more depth. Here I'm just blending everything out with my BH Cosmetics brush in the number 16. Next, I'm going into the opposite side of the more purpley shade, and I'm going into what is kind of a, a, a light peachy shimmer shade. And this I'm only putting not in the middle and not quite on the outer part, but like right in, the, in between the middle and the outer third, if that makes any sense. So I'm basically... I'm just putting it right there and with this brush you can see I'm just trying to blend everything out so that way there aren't any harsh lines because with shimmers it's, it's pretty easy to get harsh lines. <laughs> Here I'm just going into my face makeup and I already pre-primed beforehand and I used the Smashbox one and I'm using two foundations for this. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in Sun Beige 310 
And I'm also using the L'Oreal Paris True Match in Creamy Natural. And this I'm just dotting all over my face. And then in a minute, I will be using a beauty sponge. So that weird part right there that you just saw where I picked my nose up and put the foundation on the sides, <laughs> I did that because I get really bad creases next to my nose right there. So what I do for my little trick, I guess you can say, is I put my nail in the tip of my nose and I basically pick it up. That way there's no bend and I can get into the crease right there. Here I'm just going into my Locket Powder and Translucent by Kat Von D and I basically put this everywhere and I'm using the sponge or the applicator that came with it. So I put it everywhere because I do get pretty oily throughout the day and I like to make sure I'm not too oily <laughs> throughout the day. So yeah, you'll see me put it everywhere. And in just a little bit right here, I realized that I completely forgot to put on concealer. And I show you in the video what concealer I'm using, or I was gonna use, and it's the Tarte Shape Tape, of course, in the shade Light Sand. And I know this shade is really light for me. You won't be able to see, I'm sorry about that. Um, this shade is very light for me. I usually just put on like a little bit because I like the brightness of it. So I will only, I would usually only put on just a little bit. And here is, like I said, I usually put it my powder everywhere and one thing I forgot to mention because it was in my first clip and my first clip got deleted um, I already previously had my base down for my eyes and I had already done my eyebrows for my eyebrows I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow, dip brow pomade in dark brown and here I'm just using the L'Oreal true match powder to basically wipe off my powder from beforehand because this powder makes me look pretty pale when I take it off and it washes me out. So I like to use a more skin toned color or a more skin toned powder when I brush it off so that way there's more color into my skin. Okay, so here I'm going into my e.l.f. palette, or it's a mini e.l.f. palette, I guess you can say. It has a blush and it has a contour or a bronzer. I don't really know what it's called. <laughs> um, and this I'm just using the contours, the contour shade. And I'm using a very light hand with this because if you have this palette, it picks up a lot of shade and it's very pigmented. So I just go in very little. Now I'm going into my Divergent palette. I'm pretty sure it's not on sale anymore. I got this when I was like 15. And for this I'm only using the blush. So you can basically use any blush you want, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm just using the palette for the blush. Next, I'm going into my highlight, and for that, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills in Emerizy.
Okay, so next I'm going back into my Kali Bible palette because I kind of want to stick wanted to stick with the color theme that I was going for. So I decided to use the pinky toned highlight over top of my Amrezy. Here I'm going in with my Stila eyeliner and I really need to get a new one. This is a sample. <laughs> So if you see that my eyeliner is looking not so hot, it's because this eyeliner is very old and it's pretty dried out. So I had to really try so hard to get it on. But anyways, so next I'm going into the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. And this one is Blackest Black. I'm not sure if that's exactly what the mascara is called. But this is basically like a bigger bristled one and I like this one first to, for the application and then I also go into um, go in with the Great Lash Maybelline New York with lots of lashes and this one as you can see has more of defined bristles so I like to use it to brush out my lashes. Here I'm going into um, the middle shade, the middle mauve purple shade that I used for my crease and I'm going on my lash line and I'm just basically putting in that color and I'm also using the more uh, darker shade that I use for my outer crease as well and those are the two part, those two shades that I'm using for my lower lash. Next, as you see here, I'm just using the Bigger Bristled um, Blackest Black um, Mascara for my bottom lashes. Next for my lips, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Veronica Liquid Lipstick. So we are getting close to the end of the video and I'm sorry I accidentally deleted the last clip of the video too. I apologize in advance for the fact that this video is very poorly made. In the near future, I hope it won't be that way. But if you guys enjoyed either way, don't forget to like and subscribe and give a thumbs up.